Hello, friends. Welcome. I'm so excited for you to join today because we are doing a super special activity where we're going to learn about shadows, just like how we read about in the book Dreams. Do you remember when the paper mouse casted that big shadow that scared away the scary dog? So that's what we're going to learn more about, how shadows work. So what you'll need for this project is some paper, something to hold the paper up with. I am using two water bottles and I have my paper taped on there. And this makes a screen. You'll also need a source of light. You can use something like a flashlight or a lamp. I'm gonna use my lamp and I'm just going to place it behind your paper. And then if you take an object and put it behind your paper, it makes a shadow. So if I move the pen closer to the light, I, we get a bigger shadow, just like how the paper mouse got a bigger shadow as it was falling down. If I move it further away from the light, we get a smaller shadow. This is because the pen is opaque. Light can't pass through it. Therefore, it casts a shadow. So what we're going to do today is I have a fun little bag of household objects and I'm gonna put it behind the screen and you all are going to help me guess what they are. So let's start. What do you think this is? Hmm. That's right, it's a pair of scissors. Let's move on to our next object. What could this be? Move it further or closer to the light, it gets bigger. If I move it further away, it gets smaller. I see that there's a handle and a curved round edge. I'll give you a hint. It's something that you eat your cereal with. It's a spoon. All right, our next object. Looks like a rectangle. Hmm, what could it be? This one's a tricky one but I'll give you a hint. It's what you use to turn on and off your TV. It's a remote. Next we have, what could that be? Hmm. So here's the hint. It's something you would eat around Christmas time. That's right, it's a candy cane. And our next object. What could it be? It's round. You can use it to play sports or Maybe fetch with your dog. Yep, it's a tennis ball. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and participating in this very fun activity. Now you can create a similar setup at home and teach your friends and family about shadows.